Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we're going to do something on the uh, 2020 Triumph Street Triple RS. And um, if you guys are watching any of my stuff, or if you haven't, go back and watch it. Um, I got a couple videos. I got an installation video on it, and then a comparison of sound. And what I'm talking about is the SC Project S1 pipe right here. Um, don't mind my dirty bike. I commute every day, and I can clean it and drive 40 miles, and it's dirty. So it's impossible to keep clean. But anyway. I installed this and I prefer to run it without the baffle um, but even with the baffle uh, it's okay to run it with no remap or tune but um, it is better for it if you do it and I'm going to show you how to do it on your, on your own right after this. Alright guys welcome back so as I said a minute ago I'm going to show you how to tune your bike. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can take it somewhere and have it dyno tuned. And um, I don't really have a dyno tuner around here. Everybody drives Harleys and stuff. There's nobody really knows about this bike. So that wasn't a big option. And um, what I was able to do is I went online. There's DNK, the letter D, letter N, letter K, tuning, or tu DNK tunes, or DNK tuning, something like that. Anyway, if you search it, you'll find it. Um, so I got a tune for it. It was about 200 bucks, um, a little more. And, uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. That's the cheapest way. So the cheapest way is you give them the money, you tell them what modifications you've had, you've done to it. In this case, I put a SC Project S1 exhaust on there, and I prefer to run it without the baffle, so it's nice and loud. And I also put a um, aftermarket air filter in there, which is for the life of me, I can never remember the name of this air filter. It's not a K&N, but it's that kind of style. It's supposed to be better than a K&N, so um, that's in there too. Um, so. When you take off the original um, exhaust, there's a big box right there, and there's a catalytic converter in there. There's still a catalytic converter in here because I haven't done the pipes, and I probably won't do the pipes because I'm not racing, so it's fast enough. But taking off the one cat does uh, get rid of some back pressure, and some of the problems I've noticed is that with the baffle out, especially um, when I come down, when I'm when I'm downshifting fast and I come come into a stop or almost a stop, I get into second or first gear, and she'll stall. And if you stalled this bike before, you'll know that uh, it doesn't want to start right back up. It's like because of computer stuff. It takes a second, and it's just weird. And it's, it sucks, right? Uh, I'm not stalling it because I don't know how to use a clutch. It's just simple fact is there's not enough gas going to it because um, it runs so lean. Because this has a European emissions. It's a Euro 5, which is the up-to-date emissions standard. So it runs lean as could be. Um, so it's another thing, being able to pull a bit more uh, fuel to it. Um, the proper air ratio and stuff. So that's why I want to do this tune. Um, this is the baffle that I took out. You can run it with it in there, but even with it in there, it never did it. And then it did it to me yesterday. It stalled. Weird. So it does need to be tuned a little bit. It won't hurt the bike, they say, but the bike will run better. So we're going to try that out. It does run a little bit better with this in there. I used to think it didn't run better, but it does run a little bit better because it doesn't stall. So that tells you everything you need to know. But we're going to go ahead and do that. A couple things we're going to need to do this is you're going to need, a, um, I believe you can do this with an iPhone too, but uh, I have an iPhone, I have an Android. I'm going to use the Android. So you have to have an Android app and you have to have the Tune ECU program. It's a free program. Um, you do need to buy a, um, you need to uh, register with it for your VIN number. It's like 20, somewhere around $20. So you can register as many bucks as you want. You can buy an unlimited thing, I think, but that's a lot more money. But um, or maybe it's just a bunch at one time, I don't know. But you uh, you do that, you have to have an ODB connector. And I have another ODB connector, and I um, actually have two different ones of these. And this is the iCar Pro. The iCar Pro does not let you program. It's It reads, it'll make some changes that are open changes, but it doesn't have the guts to program. And what you're going to need for that is you're going to need, there's another one out there that does it, but there's an ODB link. And this is the, I'll show you what it is. This is the... Um, ODB Link MX Plus. This is the bad Mac Daddy. This one, it, I've seen it for $100 on, on Amazon. I've seen it yesterday. It was $139.99. Um, I did not buy it. I got it from a buddy that bought it. I used the other one to program his truck um, for some LED lights that he put on it so it wouldn't do weird stuff and throw codes. And that was able to do that. And I've used it for both Jeeps and I was able to do stuff with it. But if, you, if you're trying to remap, you're going to have to have the good one. And they recommend it on two ECU to tell you which one you need to use. This is one of them. Um, this one is pretty good. I was able to get it. I was going to buy it and then just return it. So there's a there's a um, hack, life hack there. 
but um, I didn't have to because he had it and I just picked it up from him today. I tried to shoot this video yesterday, it didn't work, so I got this today from him. We're going to do it now. So then you, you do that. Um, the ways you can do it with DNK tuning is you can bring your bike into them. Um, they're in Maryland, so if you live around Maryland, you can bring it into them. They'll tune it, they'll dyno it, it's perfect, right? They're going to get it perfect. This way is not as perfect. But it's pretty close because they've done it to actual motorcycles, so they have a map for the motorcycle or something very close. It's going to be a lot better than what it is. The other way you can do it is you can take your ECU out, which is buried in here somewhere, and you can send it to them. They'll reprogram your ECU and they'll send it back. Um, the other, the last way is, you, and it, each one of those costs more money. So this is the cheapest way. Like I said, two hundred something, two twenty or something. So. This way, I downloaded, I sent it to him, told him what I had. A couple days later, I, I think I sent it to him on Saturday. Uh, yesterday, I got an email. It might have even been there Monday night. Got an email. It said download the link. So I downloaded the link to my phone. So a couple things we got to do before that, we got to hook this up. So I'm going to show you guys how you do that. And the first thing you got to do is on this bike anyway, every bike's a little different, but on this bike, we got to take the rear cowl off, put our key in, we're going to pop it off. Back because we're gonna need that, and then inside here, there, there's a inside here there's a Allen wrench. So we're gonna take this Allen wrench. We gotta get the seat off. Okay, so we're gonna take the seat off. It's pretty easy to do. And I like the loudness of it because I live in Central Florida, and it is very loud here. Are very loud. It's very busy. It's the uh, I-4 in the Central Florida Corridor. It is the da most dangerous uh, road in America. Um, and year after year, so I wear a lot of gear, and I like my bike loud so people know I'm around. I'm going to take you in for just a little bit here. Okay, it took you in a little bit. In here, you're going to have an ODB port if you've got that on your bike. And there's an ODB port. It has a little little nub that it goes in there, so it connects and holds it. We're going to just simply take our ODB uh, MX Plus, ODB Link MX Plus, and we're going to plug it into this port, this cable right here. You can hear my goats going on in the background. Um, they're neighing or whatever, whatever goats do. So we got that. I've already linked this to my phone. You do have to download their, their application and, and set it up, and it's easy to do. It does it all for you. Um, right in the app you don't have to leave the app so it does it all so next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the key on and make sure that your you can hear your fuel pump as long as your key is shut you'll hear your fuel pump um hey stop it sorry my dog's trying to break out of the yard all right so can walk us through this here we're going to see how we do it so next we got it we got a green light right there because we've already connected it connected as soon as I plugged it in connected to the phone you're going to go to the website for uh, e tune ECU and you have to go to their website and get it it's no longer available on the on the, on the uh, Android store anyway so then you're just going to open up your apps and I know that I got it open so we're going to open up tune tune ECU it's going to say you want to pair pair devices we're going to hit this and it's going to say connected to ODB link MX plus whatever so we got it so it says that this map is connected. That's the map in the vehicle. We're simply just going to go here. We're going to hit map. And we're going to say open. And we're going to go. I'm in the download folder already. And here's the one they sent me. It's a 31044 map. It says street 3RS 2020. Well, 20 because it's 2020. US dot my last name. We're going to hit that. And it loads it up. And... I'm going to do it again just because it's funky. That makes me feel like it didn't do it. Um, hit that. Yep. And then we're going to hit ECU. And it says reprogram. We're going to reprogram. It says reprogramming your bike with this tool. Will avoid the warranty. Are you sure you want to proceed? Screw it. I can always go back. Uh, it says remove the headlight fuse and connect a battery charger. Um, that's just so it doesn't wear it down. We'll be okay. All right, incorrect values can damage the engine. Confirm to reprogram the ECU. We're going to reprogram it. So you hear the pump shut off. It says reprogram in process. It says 10 minutes, but I've heard this only takes about two. We'll see. And we are 
are just going to wait until she's done. All right, there you have it, guys. So if you've noticed, I've been chatting with um, I've been chatting with a friend of mine um, from down under, from down under. Um, so we've there's been some discontention or con whatever. I can't even talk uh, whether or not it'll work. Andrew's telling me that he's heard it wouldn't work, but they tell me it's no problem and it is. It does seem to work. It says reprogramming done. Hit OK. It says turn the ignition off. Disconnect the battery charger, replace the fuse, then turn the ignition on and start the motor. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on. I got to come over here and start this real quick. So you change the pipe or put the baffle in and out. So to turn it off, turn it on, let it run untouched for 12 minutes, and it, it'll set. It'll like bake it in or something. I don't know how it works. So we're gonna see how that works. Uh, 6:48 at 7 o'clock. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna go for a ride and um, see if there's any different noticeable difference. And um, I will probably do an on uh, on road uh, vlog or whatever coming up at the end of this. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know how it went either way. And uh, hopefully the bike works. So we'll see. Soon to find out. Okay, guys. So we're getting ready to take off and take it on another test drive. This is day two with the tune installed, and we're going to see how she does. <laughs> fourth gear at 60 miles an hour and uh, if I just let off the gas actually I'm gonna do it in, I'm gonna go back down the third so I'm kind of high and I'm gonna let off the gas and before it'd be a lot of popping and crackling which I like the sound of but there's no popping and cracking the other thing is just immediately jumps up I hit the throttle so I can tell a difference it is running better um, it just there's more power for sure and uh, it, it doesn't it's not running as, as weird as it was I guess I, again I like the crackling popping popping it's got that Harley s kind of sound to it but um, just downshifting with the quick shifter no clutch there's a you know a little bit of popping but it was you know, it did sound like Thor's hammer. Uh, pop, 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 you know, so it doesn't do that anymore, which is, which I guess is a good thing. It's, it must be running better. I have noticed an uptick in gas usage, um, so it's definitely not as lean as it was running, which hopefully is better for the valves instead of such. running good that was that was 82 in second gear I wasn't completely wound up and I and I actually let off a little bit so I wasn't I lost a little bit of leg in there but um, just quick quick to respond 
Throttle's immediate, no, no delay in throttle. Uh, hasn't stalled or anything um, like before. And I, I took, I just, you know, I, I started up and went, which isn't the best thing, but I wanted the bike to be cold when I hit it. And it's not doing any of that. So, still sounds good. It's got that SC Project S1 sound to it without the baffle. You can probably hear it. It's loud as all crap. Um, so, that's a good thing. It, it's running good. And, and uh, we get through this, this bit of stuff here. We're going we're gonna to cheat a little bit. some some stopped car lane splitting which is illegal in Florida so that was all CGI didn't really happen it does feel like it made a difference I did reach out to the company which I, I was screwing up the name of the company before it's DNK DNK Tuneworks out of uh, Maryland I believe Anyway, guys, thanks. That's all I got, really. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, you think I'm full of crap or you think I'm a genius, uh, either way, please leave some comments down below. Um, you can also email me at evolvingmail. That's uh, E-V-O-L-V-I-N-G-E-M-A-L-E, -E, evolvingemail, at gmail.com. Uh, also check for me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, I have stuff there, but you can reach out to me any way you'd like. Um, and I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's really important to me that, that you guys are subscribed. A lot of people are watching. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. If you, you don't even have to hit the bell and you won't get an alert. But if you want to see more videos, hit that bell and it, it, will, it will alert you when um, new videos are out. Also, just started a new channel today. Uh, that's about, that's called YOWA Ranch. That's Y-O-W-A-R-A-N-C-H, all one word. And that's um, about our micro ranch that we've started. We've got some chickens and, and ducks and goats. I've got a uh, mini cow coming um, in about a month or so, so or a month and a half. So uh, that's coming. He's already he's already on order. We're just waiting for him to um, be weaned from his mom. We don't want to take him too early. So uh, and we're going to breed him as well. Um, he's a uh, partial Highland, partial uh, white. Uh, park cow, but he's a mini, small. So, uh, interesting stuff, I hope. Uh, just other content for you to consume. And again, I really appreciate it, guys. And as always, peace out.